As an architect, I oversee planning, design, and construction of a building. Um, I kind of see the job as being like a conductor in an orchestra. We have to put together multiple pieces of information from different people to put it into a co cohesive set of information that we would give to the contractor to build the project. It really takes a lot of problem solving skills. We gather a lot of information, like I said, from different people. And then we have constraints that we have to work within. So it's like creating a big puzzle and we find all these pieces and we figure out which ones need to go close to each other or which one needs to go far away from each other and then put them all in a building. An average day for me is mostly spent working on the docu documentation portion of my project. Um, which would be drawing in a computer and building a building in 3D in a program that we call Revit, which lets us construct the whole building virtually in a computer before it is actually given to a contractor to build. In the end, we'll actually take that and uh, produce 2D drawings, um, which we call floor plans. We also do elevations and details that will give to the contractor and he'll be able to build the building. As a child I always liked drawing and we started with freehand sketching, drawing, um, and pens, pencils, markers, 3D, and then that's now formulated more into the computer. We use many different tools in the computer to express that. It's really great to walk out on a site of land that it has nothing developed on it and then see it be completed into something bigger than what you ever imagined. Um, I got to have the opportunity to work on the Diamondbacks Rocky Spring Training Facility, which is here in Arizona, it's the Salt River Fields. And that was a golf course before it ended up being a spring training facility. Both of my parents are artists, so I always saw them drawing and doing their work. And I also saw them struggling to do what they love and make money at it. So I really wanted to be a professional and be able to do something that I could uh, have a creative outlet every day and be able to express myself. As an architect you need to go to college and get a degree in architecture. Um, that consists of a lot of history classes, it will consist of ba basic education um, along with hand drawing, computer modeling, and a lot of other skills like that. Um, then after you're done and you complete your college degree you have to do a three-year internship or apprenticeship with a company. Um, then you'll learn the basics of uh, what you do in a real profession and kind of the more practical business side of things. And then after that you have to sit for seven exams which are the architectural registration exams and then once you've completed those and passed you can be a licensed architect. I think math really helped me get to where I am. Um, there's a lot of things that we do on a daily basis um, that deals with math. Uh, physics is also very helpful and also just learning how to draw and express yourself in a 3D format or in a 2D format um, and being able to have your ideas portrayed and shown to someone else. Go to college, get an education, and work hard.